Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be testing out a new collection from iHeart Revolution. They have brought out a lot of Dr. Seuss. Seuss? Dr. Seuss. I've got it right here, I'm gonna unbox it and we can look at it, try it out. I did buy one of the bundle sets, which was 20 pounds. See what we're gonna work with. So everything is all in here. Like I said, I went with the bundle stuff, which costs 20 pound but I also did get an extra lip gloss because that looked really nice. So this set which spoke out to me was oh the places you'll go set which includes the eyeshadow palette, the lip gloss and these funky eye crayons which apparently you can use as eyeshadow and also in the waterline. And I also got an extra lip gloss which one's this? <laughs> this is the Horton Here's Who lip gloss which is more of a red. Um, but yeah I'm gonna test these out let's see how they work. So I've already got my base on today. I just had to take the previous eye makeup, so that's why it's looking a bit blotchy around the highs. But this is the eyeshadow palette, which it came with, oh, the places you'll go set. By the way, I am not, I don't really know much about Dr. Seuss. I know about the cat and the hat and the Grinch, and but that's about it. I haven't read any of the books. So yeah, this collection, I'm, I don't really know much about it. Out of all the eyeshadow palettes that I saw, they've got Cat and Hat, they've got Eggs and Ham, which was a green base one, and they had another one, I think it was one fish, something fish, red fish, one, two, red, I don't even know. I'm gonna butcher it, but this one in particular reminds me of the Colourpop Barbie palette, um, just with the colour story. So in here we have got three mattes and the rest look like to be shimmer. I have no idea what I look to do today. Um, it's gonna be a quick one because I need to head out. I need to go to the vets. So we have also got this eye crayon set. There are six shades in here and apparently you can use these as eyeshadow and also pop it in the waterline. And then with the set it came with this lip topper and it did say on the website it's got like reflect reflectors in the lip gloss like glitter reflex. And then I just bought this on top of the set because I just really like the color of it. So yeah, I'm gonna go on with my base. I'm gonna use the Beauty Bay eyeshadow base and try doing my eyes as quick as possible and trying to get this up. So yeah, I'd love to know, did you buy any of this from the collection? Um, I did see a spoiler on XX Revolution that apparently they're bringing something out with Powerpuff Girls and I'm so excited for that collection. Uh, more so than this collection. Um, kind of wish that this brand did Powerpuff Girls instead because that would have been good. So I don't know what kind of look to do. Hmm. Do I go in with some pink and blue? I think I have to. So yeah, I'm gonna go with this shade. I'm just gonna smoke it out everywhere in the crease. But these palettes remind me, I don't know if it's gonna be the same formula, but remind me of the layout as the Party Pets palettes so hopefully the shimmers can work as great as them because those shimmers and the party pets are divine. This is a really nice colour shade. I would say it doesn't match how it comes up on the pan. How nice is that matte? Kind of wish there was a much of a darker shade in here. I feel like this wouldn't be dark enough. I'm gonna go with the same brush. I'm gonna use a mixture of these two shades. I'm gonna go try and get an in between. And I'm just gonna put that above just on the brow bone. I'm gonna take more of a smaller brush. I'm gonna go back into that movie shade. There's quite a lot of fallout in this palette. But as for the mattes, that's all I'm gonna do. Nothing too precise. Um, I just wanted something to throw on. I don't want to mess about with cut creases today because like I said, I'm in a rush. This blue is speaking to me. How nice would that look? That is absolutely stunning, but this, oh, but this is also really nice. And this green, this mint green. Oh, right, I'm gonna go with the blue because there's just something about this blue that's calling me. I think these would look so much nice wet, but they are applying nice on the finger. How nice is that? Let me try with a brush, see if I can get more of a precise finish to it. So, let me see if I can wet it on a brush. 
I'm going with my ALF spray, my Heart Revolution. A very nice shimmer, not the smoothest application, but it applies on really nice with your finger, I'd say. It doesn't spread as easy on a finger, but it is beautiful. Right, I'm gonna go in this pink. And I'm gonna put this pink on top of the blue, but also going into the inner corner. I want to mix between these two shades because I think the pink and blue always looks nice together. Yes, I'll go back into the blue as well because it has covered the blue, the pink has. But those two shades together. Right, so let's go in this eye pencil crayon set. Let's see if I can get any nice colours out of this. I'm thinking maybe a yellow. So we have got loads here. Which one should I go in? Let's see what this green looks like. Ooh. That green. And then we've got the grey coming out silver. The yellow. We've got the blue, which is stunning. Might try to put that blue in the cut in the waterline. And then as for the others, we've got like more of a peachy tone, which is that one. And then the last one, this is um oh that is nice. That's really nice. I'm gonna try to put this in the waterline, see what it looks like. Oh I think we're onto something here. That's nice. Doesn't drag on the waterline at all. I like that. Let's try the blue. Oh, it's gone on. It has gone on my base. Let me see if I can warm it up on my hand first. Okay, the blue. Oh, that blue. You know what? I'm so glad they brought these out because I used to use the, the retractable pens it was in a blue metallic pen. It look, literally looks like a pen and it had all different metallic colors and these are so much better than those. Um, but yeah, that blue, I'm gonna use this blue all over. Yeah. I will do another video of course of using these pens because I think they'd be so much fun like just to try them out in different looks. But this is what the blue looks like. I think that pops. I really like that. And they don't drag, they don't hurt, they feel creamy. So this is what the eyes look like. I really like this, this is looking really nice. I'm just gonna pop on a black eyeliner and then we can try out the lip gloss. Okay, so eyeliner now on. I might put this green like pen, pencil in the in a corner, just see what it looked like. I don't know, I just felt like putting green in the inner corner. How nice is that? It's like a spotlight green. So let's get onto these lippies. So we have got Horton, and we also got Oh The Places You'll Go. Let's try them both. So this is what the orange one looks like. Really like the reflex on that. It's quite a thick consistency. But yeah, I just love the packaging to detail. I don't know if you can see the reflex in there. Let's try out the orange first. Now, I don't know if it's gonna be pigmented. Are these lip toppers? I don't know. Uh, oh, it's, got, it's quite opaque actually. They smell really good. I Heart Revolution smell to them. I've got like eyeshadow on my lip. This is why I always do my base last. Why is the colour is so nice? I think I might keep this one on, but let's try out this. I'll show you what this looks like swatched. So that is what the pink looks like. It has the same scent. 
But yeah, I do really like the payoff of these. I think I like this one more. They do have a sticky um, texture to them, but nothing alarming. I really like this colour. I think it just pops with the look. But yeah, I'm really glad I got this one. Um, so far, I'm really impressed with this collection. Probably more so than the cheese one. I'm just gonna quickly hop off camera put some mascara on and then we can go over with everything that we've just been through. So guys, here is the completed look using all Dr. Seuss. I love that lip colour and the blue and the pink. Yeah, I really like that green in a pencil colour as well. How nice is that? Okay, let's get down to the nitty gritty. I am impressed with this collection. I would say this collection has performed, well, the products that I've tried has performed a lot better than the cheese collection in terms of the quality of the shadow I've just chose. Fun packaging, I have no idea what this particular Dr. Seuss did. I haven't, is this a book? I haven't read this one. This one I did prefer out of all the palettes. I just feel like this color story is more me. I really like the blue and the pink shimmer mixed together. I thought that was really nice. The only thing I'd say is I wish this matte shade was a tad darker but if you just add an eyeliner i think it'd be fine anyway yeah the shimmers in here are so nice especially this blue this blue is absolutely stunning um they're not the smoothest shimmers that i felt but they apply on really good and the pigment is definitely there eye crayons i was most excited for though to try out because these are super different that i heart revolution have done these work so good um yeah, I really love the blue. I feel like the blue pops. Um, the green in the inner corner works really well as well. I cannot wait to try use these more on the lids, see how they work. But yeah, I really like these. They don't hurt on the waterline. I myself got quite a sensitive waterline and I hate it when eye pencils drag and they just make your eyes water. These didn't do that, they felt creamy and they are a rolly, so you just roll them. Um, but yeah, before using them, I would just warm it up first on the back of your hand and then apply it, um, just so it applies on more smooth. But yeah, really impressed with these. So again, that's a hit from me. These lip glasses, love the payoff, um, love the shine it gives. I love the reflex of the particles and you can see it on the lip. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. The only thing I'd say, they're a bit sticky, but honestly, I don't care as long as it looks good and I love the high shine on it. And I can't decide which colour I prefer because I think it's just going to depend what mood I'm in. I love both these colours and I definitely recommend. So yeah, all in all, trying all these products in this collection, I definitely recommend this bundle. I believe they had other bundles. They had a, or they had a full eyeshadow bundle which they were selling for... Was it £36? I can't remember. They had a cat and hat bundle and I think they had another bundle as well the other palette and with the matching lip glosses. But yeah, it's a yes from me. So guys, that's the end of my video today. I apologise if it's come across a bit short and snappy and a bit rushy. It's because I'm on a time crunch but I really wanted to deep dive into this collection and just try it all out. I was just so excited. Of course I'm going to do a part two to this. I'm going to do more looks. I haven't brought any of the other palettes. I just feel like I don't need to. I've got this. I'm happy with this and I've got the crayons. I feel like I've got a bit of everything from the collection. So I won't be doing any other palette tutorials from the collection but I will be playing around with the crayons more and this palette. So yeah. If you did enjoy this video do give it a big thumbs up. Sure helps my channel out. And of course subscribe if you want to see more looks with this collection and yeah. Hope you have a lovely day. Now time watching this and I shall see you next one. Bye!